All right, Prem's ready here, and we're gonna talk about balancing GTA the right way. Well, how do you balance a game that has been out for over five, six years, and still have the same problems that you do from day one? Well, it's about priorities. Today, we're gonna talk about this one glitch, it's with the speedo custom. So we're in the nightclub deliver vehicle garage and how to get your speedo custom into dodge mode is pretty easy. You're gonna hit right on the d-pad and bring yourself into the modify vehicle menu and then hit circle. Bring up to this menu, exit garage and as soon as you hit confirm on exit garage, you can spam that PlayStation button if you're on PlayStation or your Xbox Home button on Xbox and just keep spamming that button until you see the vehicle on the street. And you know you you'll know if you hit it when you get out of the vehicle and throw a grenade, city bomb, RPG, whatever, and it doesn't it destroy itself. So now I don't, I'm not versed on the previous iterations on how to did the speed of touch them in the dot mode. But it's been out for a long time. The method, methods may have changed, but it's still the same thing. And what I want to talk about are priorities. You can have this. And yeah, I've heard them say they patched it, you know, it doesn't work no more. But here's the thing. Having a vehicle in dive mode is one thing, but you have legitimate money making methods that still are messed up over three years ago. So for instance, if you're sp selling special cargo, there's a chance, I'm not saying a large chance or whatever. When you go over the drop off point, it's mostly in the airplanes. And you go ahead and click right to drop off, it won't. It won't trigger. No matter what you do, it won't trigger. So the only thing to fix that is to quit the game so you don't lose your stuff. Now you gotta get more crates. It's just, it's a pain in the ass, and the same thing out with the MC businesses. I remember if you were out in Palito Bay and going over the Bay Area, the water area, you would just respawn on the beach and just be out the one delivery vehicle. It would just be done, be gone. How long was that after four? How long has the special cargo glitch been around for? Years. And if you compare that to other, let's say, balancing decisions, uh, for instance, if you go ahead and spin the wheel at the casino and get a temper and get a discount, let's say for, you know, legendary motorsport. It, for, okay, it's ten percent discount, which really don't mean shit nowadays and you can only have it you can only use it for the in-game day so 10% of you know a vehicle that you can only use for one in-game day so that's 48 minutes but yet, I can be in a vehicle that has dad mode, and as long as I am still in the lobby, even if I die, I can still get in it and no one can destroy it. it, it the priorities and these balancing decisions just don't make no sense. They never have. And I don't think they ever will, but it's just I just want to talk to you guys and your thoughts your comments have you ever had 
these things happen to you where you're going ahead and selling and you're trying to sell and this is the only day you can sell and you've been waiting you now all week to get on and it fucks up. It's just discouraging and to have that stuff happen I'm not saying it happens all the time but it's just fix it fix it it's a serious glitch and I'm sure I'm not the only one that has experienced it but say come on so it's a little rant I guess if you want to call it a rant or you know bitch and moan complain whatever you want to call it it's just that Rockstar needs to have the priorities balanced equally you know have some things you know that god mode glitches you know if you use them just to troll well obviously they're bad but if you just want to get into your vehicle and be in an open lobby and just go from point A to point B without being harassed that's one thing, but 99% of the population that use God Moach, a God Moach glitch, are trolls. They're going to abuse it. You know, it's the same thing with the power duplication glitches. They don't hurt pretty much anybody except for Rockstar's wallet. Oh, they're not making, you know, shark card sales. Well, I'm sorry, but paying $100 for $8 million in today's GTA economy? They ain't worth dick. They can get you maybe... Okay. So if you started GTA right now and bought a Metadon shark card for $100 for real life money, I get you the Master Penthouse and maybe one of the supercars, and that's it. Everything's so goddamn high price, this and that. And I understand it's inflation. But, you know, it, it is what it is. And I just wish that Rexer would do a better job at, you know, looking at these glitches and looking at, you know, their balancing decisions and just do a better job. Because half this stuff doesn't make sense. A 10% discount I can only use for one in-game day? Are you kidding me? How is that hurting any anyone? Anybody? So, I don't know. It's been primed already and I uh, enjoyed this. You know. Let me know in, in the comments. Like, yeah, I agree. Or whatever. Spark a conversation. Let's get it rolling. Will this ever be addressed? Eh, maybe. Probably not. But if we don't talk about it, it will never get done. So, do your part. Let's go. That was a good one, guys. And uh, I'll talk to y'all later. Yeah. All right. Yeah.